Good day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. In this video, excuse me sir, we're taking a look at the Fire Festival. Oh, excuse me sir. And not that Fire Festival, but we're looking at the Midsummer Fire Festival. This is a celebration in World of Warcraft. It begins on the 21st and it will end fairly soon. Um, actually it, it doesn't last very long it ends on the 5th of july so you don't have a huge amount of time for this event but yeah uh, it's got a lot of really cool stuff and we'll take a look at it in general so let's cover the basics so what is the midsummer fire festival well it's a collection of quests and activities that you can do that you can find in any of your hub cities if you're struggling you can always find a vendor in any other city and they will basically give you a quest to come here. For the Alliance, it's in Stormwind. And for the Horde, it's in Orgrimmar. Once you get there, there are a bunch of mini games you can play. Like the Torch Tossing game. And there are a whole bunch of other things you can do. In terms of basically uh, taking a whole bunch of your like fetch, drop-off quests, etc. Once you've done this, uh, you are essentially ready to go. And you can start to kind of just basically partake in some of these mini games. As you can see here, I'm partaking in the one. It's a very, very straightforward concept. And essentially, it's just a way for you as a player to pick up some of these burning blossoms, which will help you with getting some of the event rewards. It's really as simple as that. So partake in a lot of these daily quests and you should have a pretty decent time. There are also some skill-based quests, like the classic cooking quest. This, uh, wait, no, that's not related to the fire end. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple stuff uh, overall, and a very, very you know, simple kind of event for this year. There's not too much else. So yeah, you can juggle torches, you can get burning blossoms, but what do you do with them? Well, before we get there, we have to talk about the very specific event for this festival. So the specific event for this is actually the Frost Lord Ahun. Frost Lord Ahun is really, really big. And the reason the Frost Lord Ahun is so big uh, in terms of drops is he gives you the satchel, which is obviously great. But also in that satchel, he can drop the scythe of the Frost Lord Ahun. Now, Frostlord Hoon is very, very straightforward. Uh, in his little bag, his satchel of chilled goods, uh, he can carry a bunch of great rewards. These being uh, basically an item called the Frost Scythe of a Hoon, which is an appearance that you can get. A very, very cool appearance, by the way. And of course, you can get the Death Frost illusion, as well as also getting a Burning Blossoms. So it is a very, very, very good event. And honestly speaking, it is really great. And it does help you out uh, quite a bit because it can drop some pretty decent gear. Uh, for the most part, there's also a really nice level cape that you can get, which is really, really good. There are some toys that can drop as well. So for example, um, you can get some toys, some pets, etc. But the big one is the Frost Scythe. Now, the Frost Scythe is probably one of the better known uh, kind of weapons and items. Uh, it's very much probably one of the top uh, items that people like to get in the game. I think it's uh, probably like one of everyone's favorites. So it's a very big um, you know, kind of... It's, uh, there we go. So it, it's a very popular item. I don't think it shows up here. But it's the Frost Scythe of a Hoon. It's a very, very cool. A lot of players love this item and it's super duper valuable for you. So on top of that, it's a great event to run. You can get gear that's relevant for you, 4, 6, 7. And in general, it's just very, very good. The actual fight against a Hoon is very, very straightforward. Uh, essentially, he just summons a whole bunch of mobs that you have to deal with. Uh, eventually dealing with the mobs will cause him to despawn or go back underground and then he will take a huge chunk of increased damage from you which should effectively end the confrontation uh, when you are obviously at this point uh, trying to complete this event 
that's kind of your main factor. So getting rid of the adds and then eventually having him go on the ground to spike his damage is all really, really about it. There's not a lot of tactics to this, so you should be fine. Once you beat a Hoon, uh, you will then be able to loot the chest. You'll get a quest for the shards of a Hoon, which you can hand in, giving you a tabard and also 20 burning blossoms, which is really cool. And then you'll be able to open your satchel of chilled goods. The satchel itself will have the ability to obtain the frost scythe and that's it for the day. Each day that you run with your character, how it's changed the drop rates is that your first attempt has the highest chance and then subsequent attempts will get slowly increasing chances of getting the great rewards. So you're doing your daily quest, you've picked up some of the blossoms and generally speaking you've been partaking in the content. But what can you actually do with the burning blossoms that you obtain? Well, there are midsummer suppliers, and you can speak to them and spend your blossoms to get some pretty cool stuff. There's some really cool toys that you can obtain, there are some really cool transmog items, and there are some nice pets that you can obtain all from this vendor. The one that's of particular interest is the Fire Eaters Hearthstone, probably the cooler of the items. But in general, there's a lot of really nice toys here. If you're not in the mood for toys, go ahead and grab yourself the Ancient Heirloom Casings. These are great because obviously they give you a ton of ways to boost your heirlooms that currently exist, which is fantastic. So there's a great incentive to take on this content from heirlooms to toys to pets. There's a ton to collect here, including the Frost Scythe itself. And then finally, what else is there to do? Well, the Midsummer's Fair is pretty cool. The Midsummer's event does have a couple of achievements. A lot of them are very simple. For example, uh, you can dance at the ribbon pole for 60 seconds while wearing a completed Midsummer set. You can also complete the Thief's Reward quests by stealing the flames from your enemy's capital cities. That's PvP related. You can honor flames in open-ended zones, which kind of marks most of the achievements. This is when you go to the Midsummer Outposts and just kind of hand in rewards. And then of course you can desecrate the opposition's bonfires as well. There's not a lot of crazy stuff to do here, uh, realistically speaking. So just doing your daily quests and of course as well doing a hoon is going to be your primary stuff to do during this celebration. So that is that. Hopefully this gives you everything you know about the Midsummer event. Honestly, Transmog Toys, it's a really cool event from that perspective and upgrading your heirloom. I wouldn't say it's the most intricate event and probably just running Frost Order Hoon on a bunch of alts is going to be your primary way of just getting all the rewards. G'day and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video.